Okay, this year I upgraded my RO. Uh, in the past I had five membranes that all had 500 gallon per day membranes in them. And this year I added a sixth and they're all 600 gallon membranes from Membrane Solutions. Uh, so we're going from 2,500 gallons per day total to 3,600 gallons per day total. That's about a 44% increase to the amount of permeate we should be able to process here. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the design considerations we made uh, when doing this upgrade. Uh, number one, we were obviously trying to remove more permeate uh, from our sap so that we can get through our, our uh, run a little bit quicker. Uh, but uh, the other thing we were worried about was the recovery rate for each membrane. Now, okay, and recovery rate is the amount of permeate going out divided by the inflow, whether it's raw sap or concentrate coming from the next membrane. If you calculate that for each membrane, so the input flow is uh, going to be um, reducing every time by the amount of permeate coming out of the prior membrane. So uh, again, it's the permeate out divided by the inflow and you want to keep that number as low as possible yet for your overall system you use same thing the total permeate coming out divided by uh, the raw sap coming in uh, you want that number pretty high if possible uh, so when we, we looked at this uh, with one pump which is a, a 40 gallon per day pump or a 40 gallon per hour pump uh, the corn water TYP 8900 uh, the recovery rate of the individual membranes was going to be a, a little bit higher than we liked. Uh, we, were, we were pushing uh, some numbers up pretty high there, and I'll walk through those here in a second. Uh, so what we actually did was we added a second pump. If you can see that down there, there are actually two of the same pumps. They pump in parallel, okay, not series. So they're both taking in raw sap, and they're, they're both pushing the sap through our system and they, they combine right here okay so we just did a T off the inlet feed both pumps in parallel both pumps in parallel push sap uh, through now the other thing uh, this was a bit of a challenge sometimes to to reach in here and undo our filter housing to change that out uh, especially now that we've added in a six membrane it's a little bit tighter in here we, we still have our, our uh, our heater, our 120 volt heater on um, these heat sinks to be able to distribute heat into our, our system and our temperature controller. So we, we can't really reach in underneath all of this and, and drop that down and pull it out like we used to. So we actually flipped it upside down. Uh, these can be installed upside down. Uh, they work just fine upside down. Um, yep, so you can just pop that off now, pull it up place your filter thread it back on tight a um, couple things number one we always run our RO completely dry at the end of the night whether it's at the end of running sap through or the end of running permeate through so when we change this this actually will be just full of air there won't be any water or sap left in there um, the other thing to keep in mind is just uh, watch where that little o-ring on the inside is make sure that doesn't fall out when you're putting it down on here you can always set it on that surface that flat surface down there if you need to as well but, uh, overall pretty excited about this this should really speed things up again I've got two of these units uh, we're gonna really be hopefully cranking through the sap these are some of the design numbers I used for <clears throat> building the RO uh, actually up at the top next to this number one here this is the first variation of this that I built it had five of the 400 gallon per day membranes for a total of 2,000 gallon per day permeate removal and you'll see we estimated that to be about four gallons per membrane of permeate that it would uh, reject from the sap uh, with one pump at 40 gallons per hour coming in uh, and you can see the max recovery rate on a single membrane was around 16.7 which is good and we had a 50 percent system recovery rate with 20 gallons of concentrate 20 gallons of permeate coming out uh, and then a year later my number two ro uh, i actually changed those 400 gallon per day membranes out to 500 gallon per day so you can see we had an increase in gallons per day 
uh, you can see our recovery rate on a single membrane crept up to as high as 25% on that last membrane and we were 62.5% system recovery rate. So 15 gallons per hour of concentrate coming out, 25 gallons of permeate coming out. So more permeate being rejected, which is good. Uh, this, was, this worked really well, this is a good setup. Um, this recovery rate number is fine, uh, but you get much higher than that uh, and it can start to be a problem. And, and again, the reason why you want your recovery rate low, if you think about it, uh, if this is, just draw what is a membrane here, you know, the sap is coming in and then permeate is going through that membrane. If you don't have enough flow going along the membrane, the sugar molecules can build up on here and there's nothing to kind of push them off and that's what we call membrane fouling. Okay, so uh, you want good flow across, not just good flow through. Obviously you want more permeate coming out, but you have to have enough uh, flow along the membrane to keep moving that sugar molecules and other particles that are being filtered out moving off the membrane so it doesn't plug that up and slow the amount of permeate that can come through. Okay, so when we started looking at these 600 gallon per day membranes uh, from membrane solutions, we got excited, obviously more permeate out. Again, as I mentioned, uh, you're gonna get quite a big reduction uh, of the amount of time you're spent processing because you're, you're getting a lot more permeate out quicker. Um, but when you look at the recovery rate numbers, look at these, 37.5 uh, on a single membrane, I didn't like that. Uh, obviously, you know, with one pump, 30 of the 40 gallons is going to permeate, only 10 to concentrate. Uh, it's a great system recovery rate, but it's at the expense of maybe pushing that a little bit too high for our liking. So, uh, what did we do? I uh, ended up taking and doing two pumps with, and I added a sixth membrane. Okay, so we're up to 3,600 gallons per day. Compared to the original design of 2,000 gallons per day, uh, you're looking at this being 1.8 times faster, okay, or more permeate coming out. Or compared to the 2,500 gallon per day membrane, 44%, okay? So that's, that's this one, that's compared to this one. So uh, a lot more permeate coming out, 36 gallons of permeate coming out per hour and 44 gallons being concentrated. Now we actually recirculate, so um, our, our concentrate out is actually a little bit lower and the amount of sap that we're actually pulling is less than 80 gallons, but the pump is still pushing 80 gallons every hour through the entire system. Now, uh, again, with two pumps, you're, you're looking at uh, 80 gallons per hour and you're taking you know six gallons of permeate out per membrane per hour and our recovery rate is nice and low on the highest memory 12 percent in fact i could probably afford to add a seventh maybe even an eighth membrane and still keep that recovery rate um, you know really nice and low uh, which is which is great so uh 45 total system recovery rate pretty close to the 50 percent uh, this is this is nice. So this is the option uh, we ended up going with and that's the reason why Okay, I've got both of the ROs going and they're working great. They're kicking out a lot of permeate kind of sitting around 115 psi and uh, Recirculating so really happy with them these are 600 gallon per day membranes, quite a bit of an upgrade over the original 400. They went later to a 500 gallon per day, all the way up to 600 gallon per day. So if you're looking to get a little bit faster processing time, these are a great option. There'll be a link below to the Amazon store where you can find these as well as other membrane sizes from Membrane Solutions. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and check out all of our other sugaring related content that we have. Thanks again for stopping by.